again from Mr. President. So you just give us a brief biodata of yourself and then you await questions, if any, from distinguished senators. Thank you very much, uh, Your Excellency, Senate President. Uh, Your Excellency, Senate President, distinguished Senator Godwin, Godwin Goldswill at Pabio, the Deputy Senate President, Senator uh, Baroj Brain, leaders of the Senate, and Your Excellency, with your permission, I want to recognize the senators from my state. Senator Ibrahim Khalid, Senator Lowell Adamu, and Senator Sunday Marshall Khatoum. I also want Your Excellency to also permit me to recognize my teacher, who is also a senator here, Senator Dr. Yahya Abdullahi, maybe in absentia. Uh, good, good. <laughs> Thank you, sir. He's been my lecturer and my mentor. Uh, distinguished actors, I want to start by thanking the Almighty Allah for his blessings and his mercies. I stand here honored before this hallowed chamber, the custodian of our federalism, the uh, the, the concern about federalism because this is the chamber where all the states in Nigeria are represented equally. So this is the chamber that represents and protects our federalism. So I feel very honored to be in this chamber today to, uh, uh, to, uh, to, to put in my brief summary. I'm also deeply grateful to His Excellency the President of Nigeria President Bola Ahmed Tunibu, GCFR, for find me worthy of being recommended to this uh, Senate to be appointed as a minister. It is a great honor, and I will remain grateful to him. I also want to express my gratitude to all those that have, been, that have come here to, to witness this occasion, which I think is historic as far as I'm concerned. Your Senate President. I will start by trying to bring my brief summary. I started, uh, I was born on the 5th of February 1958 in Kachia, Karuna State. And I started my education at Kobo Kribana Primary School, known as the Town School No. 1 in Zaria. 1964 to 1970. And from there, I proceeded to College from 1972 to 1975, where I wrote, I wrote my work. And I attended Kazakh College of Advanced Studies, Arts, Science, and Technology from 1976 to 1978, where I wrote my IJMB, which is Interim Joint Matriculation Certificate. Then I also did GCE A level. In 19, November 1977. I also attended Ahmad Gali University, Zaria, from 1978 to 1981, where I obtained Bachelor's of Political Science. While in ABU, uh, Mr. President, I was also a student journalism, and I was the speaker of the Students' House of Representatives. That is from 1981 to 1980-1981. I also did my master's degree in ABU in 1986 to 1987. Uh, Mr. President, I want to uh, I want to start by I want to continue by trying to uh, throughout my career have sought opportunities to enhance my skills and broaden my understanding of governance, management, and environmental stability. I participated in various professional courses in development, including GMC in ASCON, and also I attended management training course at Stems Ballet College in Nordic Middle. I have also pursued specialist courses in presentation, infrastructure at the Center for Privatization and Engineering in, in US. And
And my commitment to continued learning has led me to executive courses at known institutions such as Crankfield University in North Kikino, Harvard University, John F. Kennedy School of Government, and School of uh, Soul School in York. My professional career started with my work in, in CAS. I started working in College of Advanced Studies as a lecturer in political science. And I, st I, st I, I started from lecturer, lecturer, uh, cell lecturer to lecturer one, and I left CAS in 1989, where I joined the Administrative College of, 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 of Nigeria, ASCON. And there, I was appointed as a facilitator in the Public Administration Department as Principal Management Development Officer. And I was in ASCON for a period of three years. And, uh, and while there, I participated actively in many courses of ASCON. In fact, I was one of those that participated actively in the local, in civil service reform of 1988 19, and, and 1989. Uh, then from ASCON, I joined the National Electric Power Authority, NEPA, but from 1992 to 1997. While in NEPA, I was uh, appointed as the principal manager in charge of administration, and I served there for a period of about eight years. Then from NEPA, I, I was appointed as special assistant to the Minister of Education in 1999, September 1999. And I participated actively in the uh, formulation, the policy of UBEC, that was Universal Basic Education. Uh, and I was the secretary of, that, of the committee that was, that was responsible for launching uh, UBEC in 1999 in Sokoto. And in education, I also participated in various committees in the area of uh, senior education and higher education uh, from 1981 to 19, from 19, uh, 1999 to 2001. And 2001, I moved from, from uh, education to the Minister of Defense, where I was a special assistant to the Minister of Defense in charge of the Army. In that ministry, I have worked in the area of uh, uh, UNAMSL in, in operation and things like that. So I worked there for a period of two and a half years before the end of that administration. And from there, I moved to uh, the Ministry of FCT, where I served as the, uh, the, uh, as the uh, uh, Chief of Staff to the Minister uh, from, 19, from 2003 to 2007. Uh, and throughout my career, I have sought opportunity to enhance my skills, broaden my understanding of governance, management, and environmental stability. I have participated in various professional development programs, including the general, the general uh, management courses, and also I have worked as, uh, greatly in areas of uh, visibility and in areas of uh, environmental protection. Uh, I stand here before you, humbled by the depth and the breadth of experience I have gained through my career. I firmly believe that if given the opportunity to be appointed a minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, I am going to bring all these experiences to bear in my duties, Your Excellency. So, uh, the, the possibility that I may likely be appointed to the Ministry of Environment. I want to, uh, I want to categorically state that I will bring all my experience and, and family to the Ministry of Environment. And I will play the bottom role in shaping the future of our great nation, Nigeria, at, which stands at crucial stage in the area of environmental sustainability. And I am committed to leading the change in addressing these challenges of environmental issues. My vision for the ministry rests on three fundamental pillars, conservation, resilience, and collaboration with must uh, collaboration. We must prioritize protection and preservation of our previous natural resources. Strengthen our environmental regulation and foster a sense of stewardship among our communities. Build new resilience in climate change is paramount 
is paramount, and we are all we, are, we will all develop robust adaptation and mitigation strategies to promote renewable energy in our in our in our country, and to integrate climate resilience in all sectors. Collaboration will be the cornerstone of our efforts, as well as bringing together government, uh, government, private sector, anti civil societies, and, and international partners to work with us. Because environment is very key to our development. Environment is key in the sense that uh, we all live within environment. So, uh, with this, um, uh, Mr. President and distinguished senators, I want to clearly say that in doing this, I am going to work closely with the National Assembly. I am a believer in democracy, and I believe that the executive can't function well without the legislature. The legislature is the basis and the, the strength of our uh, government. So, whatever Will, I will do in wherever I find myself. I am going to. Mr. President, very distinguished senators, I rise on point of order 8, subsection 3, to request, uh, to move actually that we extend our sitting period beyond 2 p.m. to enable us to take care of all the have on the other paper for today. I so move, Mr. President, sitting at chair. The President of the Senate, the single colleagues, I write to second the motion that the Senate extend beyond 2 o'clock to enable us complete on our important assignment on the other paper. I so second. Distinguished colleagues, the motion has been moved and seconded that this solo chamber do extend the sitting time beyond 2 p.m. to enable us to conclude all the items on the other paper for the day. Those who are in support of the motion say aye. aye. Those who are against say nay. The ayes have it. Thank you, Mr. President. So, uh, in concluding, I want to indicate clearly that um, as part of uh, my working career, I was appointed Secretary of the Government three times, uh, from 2015 till today. Uh, and I want to say that I am likely the longest serving Secretary of the Government in Nigeria. So I have uh, been part of administration, I've been part of policy making, I've been part of uh, uh, trying to change things in, in, in the country based on what I did at the federal level and what I'm doing now at the state level. So I want to bring this experience to bear wherever I find myself in the new cabinet of uh, 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 the president. And I want to express, I want to express my gratitude to all of you for listening. And I also want to extend my sincere thanks to the president of the Senate for allowing me to stand here before this August gathering. I, I, this is a house of splendor, a house of integrity, a house of, uh, of democracy, and I feel highly honored because to me this is the highest point of my career, to stand before this uh, hall, of, uh, hall, of, uh, hall and, uh, uh, and, 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 say, and say things about myself. I feel very, very, uh, very, very happy. Today is maybe my happiest day, being here and being addressing this uh, chamber. Uh, I, I want to end here by saying that uh, uh, environment, which I think I may be going there, is a very important issue. And we know that we have been going through a lot of issues to do with environment. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Yes, the civil senator Masha. Mr. President, sitting as chair, Senator Sunday Marshal Katun, I represent the people of Kaduna South Senatorial District from Kaduna State. 
Mr. President, I want to thank you for this privilege to stand and speak on behalf of uh, uh, our nominee. First, to thank Mr. President for nominating him, and to quickly state that uh, the three senators from Kaduna have no objection to his uh, nomination. Also, to state quickly that he was also born in my senatorial district. He attended the same uh, A-levels like me, where he also became a lecturer when I jumped to University of, the same year I jumped to University of Lagos to commence my studies as a lawyer. Uh, he's a seasoned administrator from his resume as presented. He's also somebody who has understood, understood the Water, water, water. 